let's say uh, you're a 18 year old in Fiji, based in Fiji. Mm. You don't speak English. You live in a small country. You don't know what to do. And you want to get into the big leagues. So uh, how would a 18 year old from Fiji go to these big leagues? Let me let me start, okay? I think first of all, he should he should develop himself, as we said, get physically strong, look good, develop some connections in Fiji, become mm -hmm. a little local superstar, mm -hmm. provide some value. Then it's important he learns English, because English is the language of communication in the world. So uh, he needs to develop English and then put himself out there, put himself uh, on internet, put himself uh, out on uh, cold, cold reaches, for example, and try to connect with people that are higher than him, little bit, maybe not much higher, but little bit higher uh, in the in the social uh, social value scale. Mm. But step by step from being in Fiji, Maybe can maybe he can move out to Australia. Maybe mm. he's not good enough for Australia, but he can go to New Zealand. And mm. then from New Zealand, maybe he can move to Australia and then start mm. up his business. Mm. And uh, then he speaks perfect English. He has all the connections. He's in a big continent. And uh, that's yeah, that's an advice I would give to somebody that is from 18 year old from Fiji. Mm. Definitely. First, there's another thing a lot of people get wrong. They're delusional and they jump to... They take a, a bigger bite than they can chew. And, like, they end up choking and failing all the time. Um, and that's because they didn't conquer where they are first. They didn't develop where they are first. They didn't um, become an asset where they are first. They didn't go through the struggle and the experience where they are first. So master your lane before jumping another lane. That's my first advice. And as you're doing that, obviously plant seeds out, out of where you are. Once you've done that and you're planting seeds and people are like, oh, oh you say that's interesting. Man, look over that. look how he's changed in the last one year or two years. Look how I'm sure. Good work. And then somebody will be like, Oh, good work. Somebody will comment. Oh yeah. And then once you're on LinkedIn, social media, Instagram, Twitter and stuff like that, and you'll keep putting yourself out there. Before you know it, you'll attract people that can benefit from your service. You'll attract people that can benefit from your knowledge. You'll attract people that could benefit from your network. And before you know, because they benefited from you, they will help you out there and help you out and return the favor to make sure you benefit from them. Don't want to sound uh, egotistic, but just look at me. Like I'm mm. a kid, I was 10 years old, a chubby kid in a small town outside Warsaw. Didn't speak mm. English, nothing. I was uh, basically playing FIFA and uh, playing football. That was just, just the only thing I was doing in my life. And here, t 15 years later, I'm here speaking to, to a guy from Liverpool on a podcast in English language. So, uh, like, everything is possible. You just need to step-by-step step develop yourself. 100%. Same with me. I came into this country not knowing anything. <laughs> Never kicked a ball. I started football when I was like nine, ten, so late. But I realized, A, I found the type of friends that I want to have that all play football. And um, football is such a it was so it's such a joy. I was like, what's this sport? I need to do this sport. Uh, what is this? So much fun. Uh, but I don't have the skills and I'll start developing it, developing my football, developing my social skills, developing my uh, communication skills, developing my English, developing being street smart as well. Um, little things like that. Um, and then once you, you learn and you force yourself, then 
if you want it bad enough, you'll do the work. And that's necessary to get you there. A lot of people don't want it bad enough, I'll be honest. Um, So you need to get out of that. But same as we said last podcast, you need to get out of yourself being in that instant gratification to more of a delayed gratification mindset all the time. And it's, that's part of networking. It's You're going to have a lot of patience. You're going to get a lot of no's before you get a, a yes. But you just got to keep sending, keep sending before you know it. <sighs> As the years go by, you'll go from sending 1,000 emails on one yes to 100 emails on one yes because you're developing your value. You're developing your um, expertise. You're developing an understanding how the market works. You're developing an understanding where you stand and where your market value. Where does your value stand? How do people perceive you? I don't know about you, Patrick, but I feel like networking is a humbling experience because you get to realize and understand where you stand in life where your value is if you're sending like thousand two thousand emails and you only get one yes you're pretty on the low end scale type of thing so you need to understand okay what can i do to bring my value up? what can i do so i become more attractive to the market what can i do to um so people will, will look at me a bit more um, and give me a chance. So it gets you questioning yourself and being more open-minded if you're an open-minded person. This is what I mean, like, networking is not for everyone. Some people don't have the patience. Some people are too arrogant. Some people, they try and message a Man United scout. I'm like, listen, you know, he's not going to reply to you. Um, so, yeah, you just got to recognise where you stand understand where you are, why you are where you are and what you need to do to get out of that and increase your value. Um, and before you know it, the ratio and the chance will work in your favour.